Welcome to a stream of chain attack. This is uh, Xerxes 2 versus High Reclaimer. Um, we already rolled, we're playing out flank here, and Ashton won the roll to go first. Yay! Uh, tell us about your list. Uh, I'm running uh, High Reclaimer. Um, I've got uh, Tristan in it, um, that is a uh, got a Templar with them. I figured double Templars can be kind of fun, so we're going to try that out. Um, Bastions, Temple Flame Guard, Idrians with the UA, Epic Iris, uh, and a couple other little support pieces. I do have Debray in the list, that's why I won the roll. Um, basically what I'm trying also to do... Also didn't hurt that you rolled a six. Yeah, also didn't hurt that I rolled a six, yeah. Uh, basically what I'm trying to do here with this list is um, just create something with a lot of layers that uh, my opponent really has to grind through, and I think the High Reclaimer does that kind of play style really well. So Okay, so you explained the list, but you didn't point anything out, so people don't know oh, exactly what yeah. you're talking about. So we got Bastions we got here. Bastions here. we got Adrian's up front. Yep. Uh, you're actually doing a, um, a normal Iris, uh, the... Uh, Alt, alt sculpt. Alt sculpt that you get out of uh, uh, no quarter. Yep. Long time ago. Uh, yep. That you're doing in, in in place of epic iris. Yeah. You've got temple flame guard here. Yeah, they're right there in the middle. My choirs along the back. Along the back. Saxon orc Saxon. behind the temple flame guard. There's a uh, vassal. Vassal there. Yep. Tristan is right behind that templar, and that's his templar. Yep. Um, and then High Reclaimer's over here behind this Templar. And then Anastasia's right behind him. Yep. Okay, so I'm playing Xerxes 2. Uh, I don't have him back yet because Ashton's still working on him. Uh, and he was missing a part, unfortunately, so we had to get that replaced. Uh, if anyone out there has... An missing, extra ear? Yeah, has, a, has three ears and no head, let me know. And yeah, he'll, he'll swap you the swap. extra head for the, the missing ear. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, playing Xerxes 2. We're just using a proxy base tonight since I don't have the model yet. Um, I have a, in my list, I have a bronze back, a gladiator, despoiler, mullet Karn, an archidon, and a uh, cyclops shaman. The bonded beast is the archidon, and I have two min units of Pangiver beast handlers, and that's my whole list. So, uh, go ahead and start whenever you're ready. Should be good times. Here we go. Uh, High Reclaimer is going to allocate one to the Templar. Uh, Tristan's going to allocate one to his Templar. We'll uh, go ahead and start with the Idrians. Idrians are going to go ahead and uh, receive a run charge order. And they're going to move up the field here. Don't think I'm going to move them their full, full 12 because I don't want to get them too far out of the Reclaimer's abilities. This is actually the first time I've gone second with this caster. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, I've always won the roll to go first. Oh, wow. And uh, he's a hell of a lot better when he goes first. <laughs> Well, this is my first, my second time playing the High Reclaimer, so I'm interested interested to see how this is going to play out. Uh, we'll go ahead and activate the Bastions next, and they're going to run their mighty eight inches up the field here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and um, activate uh, Temple Flame Guard. I think I'm going to get my bo myself boxed in here pretty quick. <laughs> That's what happens when you have to hide behind five clouds. <laughs> There may or may not be a lot of souls to get created this game. Yeah, that's the other thing is uh, this list is I wanted to be really uh, try to be as uh, focus efficient as I could, and that's why I brought Tristan in is to help alleviate some of that. So. Um, speaking of Tristan, we're going to go ahead and advance him, activate him and advance him out here a few inches and turn him so he catches his Templar and we'll put Fortify out there Okay. on the Templar. 
to about here, I think. We'll activate this Templar. He's going to run. Come up nestled right here behind some Temple Flame Guard. We'll uh, activate this Templar. He's going to run, although I don't think it's going to get him very far. And get him base to base with this guy. We'll activate uh, High Reclaimer. He's going to come up, get base to base with the uh, Fortified Templar. He's going to put out some clouds. We'll uh, throw out all five, use all his focus. This guy will be just clipped by it, so he'll still be in the cloud. Okay. I have found someone who's played Crane. What is the question? And the intent here is I'm trying to stack the clouds mm -hmm. uh, edge to edge so that uh, we're creating a nice wall. You're going to have to start rolling it back here. He's oh, only yeah. got 10 inches there. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. And this one probably has to come back a bit too. It's not going to matter too much on this first yeah. turn. So. Just trying to get you in the habit of. Yeah. And again, here we're trying building to the bunker of there you go. of high reclaimer awesomeness. <laughs> uh, choir will activate. Um, and just for giggles, I guess what they'll do no magic. I don't think that's going to happen though. <laughs> I do have. I do have stranglehold. Um, Debray, we're going to go ahead and, and activate her and run her out okay. to the side here. I think she's speed six, right? Uh, she's seven, I believe. Seven. I won't complain if you run her 14. I'm just going to bring her up right about to there. Uh, Vassal will go. He's going to come up here. We'll go ahead and put... Um, nah, enlivens. nothing's even going to work there. We won't even worry about anything with them. Okay. And uh, Saxon... He's going to come run and just hang out here for now. Okay. And uh, Iris is next. Iris will just go ahead and pull her out out here for now. Okay. That's my turn. All right. Um, let's see. It's a slow list, man. <laughs> Those guys have combined range attack? Uh, I believe they do. Let me pull this up here. Damn security feature on my phone won't disable the auto lock, so <laughs> I'm going to have to... You can thank the IT department at your work. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, they do have combined range. Okay. Uh, we'll activate Xerxes. He's going to cast mobility, and he's going to... Um, he's going to advance... He's going to go seven to there. Uh, and he'll stop there. Should be noted that uh, the Idrians prayed Xerxes himself. Yeah. So. First time playing Idrians, no idea what to do with them. This will be fun. Back up just a little bit. <laughs> Make sure that you don't get that bonus. Okay. Um, we're going to activate the spoiler, and he's going to. He's going to run. He's going to run to there. Um, I take the bronze back, and he's going to run. I'm super. Um, Look for the gladiator and he'll advance. But the uh, Mullet Karn. Alright. Okay. Mullet Karn's going to run. 
Uh, you speed six, goes to speed eight with mobility, so you can run up to 16. He'll run to there. Oh, no, can't run that far. We gotta keep him in control area here. Did you ink your tokens? Uh, I had a guy do it for me, yes. That's pretty cool. Like that. Um, Archdon is also going to run. Can uh, Archdon be knocked down? Nope. Nope, oh, okay. And can he advance through other models? He can. Okay. He's gonna go to there. All right. Uh, Shaman's gonna advance to there. He's gonna take a shot there. It's range 10, he'll be out. Uh, activate these guys and they're gonna advance. Uh, this one will remove Fury from the Archidome. Oh, did we explain what scenario we're playing? It's outflank. outflank. Uh, in this scenario, you can control a zone for one control point, or you can dominate a zone for two control points, and you need to get to five control points to win. Uh, to control a zone, these guys will activate in advance. Okay. To control a zone, you have to have the only models in the zone. You have to have at least a unit with more than 50% in it, or have a beast, or a solo, or a jack. Uh, oops, let me finish these. Uh, in the zone. And no enemy models. To dominate the zone, same con same situation, except for you have to have your Warcaster Warlock in the zone. I'm done. It's over to you. Okay. We'll clear some clouds here. I will warn you yep. that he has eye of sight, so okay. that tree's un unimportant to him. Sure. Just so you're not like, holy crap, he just charged through the forest and killed all my dudes! <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Tristan will pay the one for the upkeep on Fortify. On Fortify, okay. Yep. So that leaves uh, three on him, and Reclaimer gets five. Okay. We'll go ahead and activate... Uh, I think we'll go ahead and activate the Bastions first. We're going to run them again. Okay. Run them into the zone up here. He has... Um, like he can attack, and if he kills, he, he, he sides. It does, doesn't. It doesn't have anything to do with kill. When he hits, he can sidestep. Sidestep. Move two okay. inches. Okay. In this list, I also have beat back in the list, so I could potentially put beat back on him uh, and have him move three inches the first two hits, and then one inch after every other okay. hit. All right. So. So we'll probably keep these guys just a little farther back. Try not to create a conga line of fun for you. <laughs> it's a little hard to stop me, honestly, when it comes to Mullet Karn. Sure. Oh, I don't care if you're I just do We're going to advance uh, Saxon up. Put him right here behind the wall for now. Okay. Does he have, um, can I see the spoilers card? Sure. Do you have any questions I can answer about him? Well, I'm, I'm, what I'm looking to see is if he has, um, okay. Yeah, so the 10 inch, the ten inch thing, so the uh, paying double for upkeeps yes. and stuff like that. That's why you're putting him up. Um, I'm just thinking of maybe bringing my Adrians up and committing them to him. And uh, just want to make sure he doesn't have any kind of uh, chain attack that will allow him to just munch through him, you know? Uh, that would be my feet and beat back. Okay. He'll also create a Void Spirit when he kills one. Okay. Which will... 
Now, how would that? How does that work with Soul Collection? There's no Soul collected, no Soul created when I create a Void Spirit. Okay. Once the Void Spirit is in play, the Void Spirit has a special rule that allows no souls to be created within three inches of him. Okay. Of him. Of the Void Spirit. Of the Void Spirit. Okay. Okay. Believe it or not, High Reclaimer hates Void Spirits. Yeah, I'm kind of running over that in my head right now and figuring that out. <laughs> should, have done, should have checked my control area to start with. Okay, so we'll... Uh, We'll go ahead and advance the. Um, we'll advance the Adrian's. Um, he's a arm nineteen, correct? Yep. Okay. Defense thirteen, armor nineteen. Okay. We'll go ahead and advance the Adrian's. Uh, their speed six. <laughs> Especially when I first played this game, I was kind of so I'm moving like four, it was like trouble, trouble. Maybe four inches, that's normal. Five inches, wow, that's fast. There's void spirit cards if you need to see those. Okay. All right, and they're going to go ahead and take a shot at your Warcaster, range 10. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see here. So from back there. Are you combining or are you shooting individual shots? Uh, well, I think we're going to take individual shots. Okay. Um, no, resolve, resolve them individually yeah, then. So these, all these right here. So these three are not going to be in range. Okay. Uh, so they're going to be uh, rats 8. Yep. So fives. Need a five? Yep. Where do you want to start? Just we'll start go through here. them? Yep. Well, um, should I do all hits and then damage? Or no, 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 no. no. Do you resolve these just like you okay. do it in any other range. I can do one at a time. Right. Hits. So that'll hit. It's pow. Uh, I think it goes pow 13. So dice minus. That's with the prey or without prey? That's, uh, I believe that's with prey because it's a pow strength 11. Yep. Okay. So, with so prey. dice minus six? Yep. So no damage. Okay. Uh, second shot. Hits. Hitting. Uh, three points of damage. Uh, I don't know where I put my marker. I got one here if you need it. Yeah, borrow that. Okay. Uh, third shot. Hits. Uh, four points of damage. Okay. Fourth shot. Misses. Fifth shot. Misses. Six. Hits. Four more points. Four more. Uh, we'll send that one to the, guy was like, oh, the shaman. Okay. Four, I need to call him. Five. Um, okay. Uh, next shot. Uh, Hitting. Come on, Look at all these crits, man. Jeez, no damage. Okay. Um, I've got three more left. One of those guys is out. Because these no, three are yeah, back here. These three are left is what okay. I'm saying. Yeah. That one hits. Okay. Uh, no damage. Uh, that guy misses. Last no, that one. Hits. Oh, that four hit? You rolled a five. That was a five? Okay. I'll roll the damage. Um, three more? Three more. Okay. Last shot. Misses. That one will miss. Yep. Okay. The uh, <laughs> Temple Flame Guard will go. They'll get a uh, shield wall order in advance. This guy will come to here. And uh, last guy will just join here. We'll, uh, I didn't allocate any focus to my jacks. Go ahead. It's not a big deal. Uh, they'll each get one. Yeah. And they're not as good against 
choir will advance. And I'll come up over. And then uh, they'll go ahead and put uh, no magic on them again. Okay. Um, this Warjack is going to run. So basically, this Warjack will activate, and he's going to run. I'm just going to bring him up again, keeping these guys base to base. Sure. Um, Reclaimer will go ahead and go. Yeah. He's gonna come up to here. Then he's gonna pull one from back here. See if it explodes. Does not explode. At least I don't think it does. I think it's a one, two, or three. It explodes. I think you're right. Yeah, one, two, or three. It explodes. And he's gonna put out uh, five clouds. And bunker up here. Okay. Do you have any way to give Moloch out of sight? No. Okay. So we're just gonna. I don't think that one's gonna get in there. Yeah, yeah, that does, does have to be, does have to be possible. That's, 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 Vassal's going to come up, uh, see his speed, speed 5, he'll attempt to put in live in here, Okay. and looks like he's in range, Okay. so he'll have him live in, and Iris, she, um, are he Isla Sight ignores stealth, correct? Yeah, but only for ranged attacks. I mean, as far as range and magic, yeah. I mean, it, okay. that's going to matter. But he has no range or magic attacks. Yeah. So, so the only thing that his his Isla Sight is going to matter for is that forest. Okay. She'll go ahead and come in here tight. Okay. And then uh, debris. Yeah, we'll run her. Okay. She's going to cut back this way though. Okay. I got my eye on her. I'm trying. Bring her up in the mob. Sure. <laughs> All right. There you go. Can I see High Reclaimer's card? I want to read Soulstorm. Yep. Uh, Soulstorm. When this model has one or more soul tokens, enemy models entering or entering their activations within two inches of it immediately suffer one damage point. Okay. All right. Well. How many did I end up doing to Xerxes? Um... I, I actually don't know what it is. Six, ten? Ten, wow. Plus I'm going to end up cutting for one, so eleven. Oh. I will pull those two Fury off and it cut It worries for one. me that you're apparently not worried about that. I'm not really worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, okay, let me think here. I ended up moving these guys too far. I wanted them behind the cloud, not in the cloud. Yeah. Well, that's... Yeah. I mean, you said this is the only second time you played yeah. this, right? Yeah. What's their defense? Uh, 13 base. 13? Yeah. Okay. Yep, defense 13. There's potential of getting a few focus next round, though. <laughs> it's true. You probably will. <laughs> Yeah. Um, 
I wish I could find a way to keep you from getting a whole bunch of souls, but I just don't think that's going to happen. You're going to get some souls. Get my soul tokens ready. Um, he, he collects within his control area? Within his control. So, 10 inches. So, pretty much everybody. Yeah. That's going to be a pain. All right. All right, we're going to activate the shaman first. Uh, shaman's going to advance okay. to there. He's going to shoot there, yep. and he's going to boost the attack roll. Okay. Defense uh, 11. 11 on those guys, yeah, they're pretty. Uh, that triple sixes will hit. That will hit. Cut my pen. You can. Thank you. And then he'll boost damage. I want to know where my pen is, though. Arm 16. Arm 16. Dice minus 4. How about 7 damage? We'll go ahead and have him take it. Okay. Yep. We're going to activate Xerxes. Oh, no, we're not. Hold on just a second. What am I going to do here? Oh, uh, we're going to activate these guys first. Okay. They're going to advance. And at the end of your turn, you can start scoring, right? Correct. I'm the second player, so okay. scoring will happen at the end of... Um, uh, this coming turn, and I'm going to... Where in the hell do I need you to be? Yeah, that's not going to happen anyway, so we're just going to leave him there. Uh, he's going to remove your here. He's going to enrage there, and he's going to enrage there. Okay. So we've got a couple of enrages. Uh, we're going to... Now we're going to activate Xerxes. He's going to sprint himself with the free animus from his bond. He's yep. going to cast mobility. And he's going to pop his feet, and he's going to charge this model here. Okay. And he'll charge in a path that goes to there. He will hit that guy and then do impact attacks. Okay. And then he'll turn after he does the impact attacks to face his charge target. Okay. So I'm going to get impact attacks on these three. Uh, we'll start with this guy here. Okay. Uh, he's mad eight and their defense 13 and I get three dice and I can pick which one I'm going to drop. You got it. So I'll drop that one and that's an eight. He takes a pal 14 and he dies. Yep. And you're in range. Oh, maybe he's not. He was the one that's He's out. the one that is out. Okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, this one here, impact attack. Uh, I miss. Okay. Uh, here. I'll hit and kill him. Okay. We'll so take soul. a soul. Uh, then I'll turn to face my charge target. I'm at 10 on a charge. So anything but double ones. Actually, it'd have to be triple ones. He dies. Okay. Pal 17 on that charge. Another soul. And then we'll take the uh, the war standard on this guy in front. Okay. Uh, that'll hit, and it's a pal 12 on him. Okay. They are arm uh, 11, 14. I think. Their arm is pretty low. Is it? Yeah. Arm 12. Arm 12. So he's gonna die. Okay. Another soul. Yay. Um. He'll be done. He's going to sprint to there. Okay. Um. Can X2 make his impact attacks and can't combat rider attack? He cannot do combat rider attack because combat rider specifically says that he cannot do a charge attack and a combat rider attack in the same turn. Uh, that's the same with combat rider across the board and all all combat rider models. Um, Okay. Um, uh, we're going to activate the gladiator. He's going to advance to there. He's going to put 
No, I mean, he, he has it. Rush on the bronze back. Okay. Here comes the beat back. Um, we're going to activate the pain giver beast handlers and they're going to advance. Uh, remove fury there and enrage and enrage on the other two beasts. Okay. Uh, we will activate the bronze back, and he's going to cast his animus, train wreck, onto the spoiler. Okay. That rushes on. And then he's going to charge himself. Okay. And. Yeah. And he's getting um, Pathfinder from somewhere, right? From Mobility. Mobility, okay. Mobility gives him a health force, Pathfinder. Okay. Well, doesn't give these guys Pathfinder because they're not part of his battle group. Right. Um, he's going to charge uh, this one. If you want to. No, it's not going to be a big deal because okay. he's, he's got plenty of room. He's got 11 inches on his charge. So. Not really an issue of getting there. Yeah. It's just a matter of where I'm going to try to place him. No worries. I guess I could use it anyway. We're going to go. Uh, it's good advertising for you, Trevor. It's true. <laughs> we do need some of that. He's just going to go to there. Okay. Okay. Um, charge attack yep. on that guy. Now, does camouflage benefit them on in on defense? a melee attack? Yeah. No, no. Okay. Uh, he's mat seven. That is a five. It'll miss. Okay. Uh, second initial will take here. Uh, hits, kills him. Okay. Uh, tusks will take on that guy. Uh, hits and kills him. Okay. And yep. Okay. And he's done. Okay. Uh, we're going to activate the spoiler. Mm -hmm. And he's going to charge this guy here. Okay. Um, he's got 10 inches of charge, so that's not really important. Um, he'll go... What would you suggest? Let's see. Like so. Okay. I believe uh, the UA guy there does have wounds. Let me check here real quick. Not not charging the UA. I'm charging this guy, but we'll get to him in just a Oh, second. no, he's part of the UA. Oh, he doesn't have wounds. It's okay. only the officer. Okay. Well, you, you can double check, but I'm pretty sure it's just him. Uh, he does have wounds. He has five. Both of them do? Yep. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I am at six, so That's I need a seven. 13 freaking point unit. It better have wounds. <laughs> <laughs> so charge attack. I'll drop the one and okay. take the two fives to hit. Okay. That's uh, pal 13. Uh, arm 12. Okay, so dice plus one. He charged. I will drop the one. Okay. And he'll get turned into a void spirit. Okay. All right, you can move in. What are you doing? Yes, I. No, Tristan! Bye bye, Tristan! I'll uh, take our reach attack here. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to. I'm coming over there. Uh, well, I'm going to turn my face in with a beat back move, but you can't really... It, don't worry about it right now. Sure. It'll, it'll happen after I swing on the officer Okay. Uh, with the tail. You know, I, uh, we'll take the crit instead of the six. So I roll the six and two fives. I'll take the crit. That gives me crit brutal. Okay. So it's pow 16 with three dice. I will drop the three and kill him. Okay. And that'll go into a Void Spirit? Uh, no, but he doesn't create a soul because he's within three of the Void Spirit. Okay. So then we'll take a one inch move. He, uh, this guy here is the office, was the officer, but we'll designate the... Uh, There's probably not going to be any of them left, but we'll see. If okay. there is, then we can worry about that when okay. I'm done. So last initial on that guy. Okay. Pretty sure... Well, I don't know. I don't remember who's the uh, normal officer. Anyway, so that guy there. Uh, we'll drop the three. Okay. And get an eight and hit. It's POW 13. Drop that one. Kill him. No soul because he's within three of a void spirit. He'll move one inch to there. 
He'll buy on that guy. Okay. And he kept making this. And it was much uh, Needs a seven. And he I'll drop the one and get an eight. Hits. Pow 14. That'll kill him. Okay. And I think you're within. Yeah. Yep. I uh, will take a one inch move. Go to there. Ah! Tail! You're in the way. Uh, he'll buy an attack on that guy back there. Okay. Uh, hit and crit, so it's pow 16 with an additional die. Kills him. That will generate a soul, though. Uh, probably, yeah. It's, it's uh, pretty sure it's three inches, so you're fired out of that. Okay. Yeah, three inches. You have to be within three. Okay. Uh, and then he will buy an attack. Uh, actually, he'll take a one inch move. To there. Defense command and abomination check. On. Okay. Cedar command eight. Uh, so on that guy, they're, they're good. good. Uh, I will miss, and then I'll buy one more. Missing Same again. guy. Missing again. Missing again. Hitting, and it'll kill him. Okay. One more soul. Indeed. Lots and lots and lots of souls. Yep. What am I going to do with all this focus? Uh, Kills or exceeds. That's my idea. Ah, uh, well, that's possible. Too far away, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we're going to charge Tristan. And go to there. And he won't draw tax of... Nope, because he is incorporeal. He is Matt 7. Tristan is... Um, Tristan is going to be a defense 14, arm 17. Okay, so need a 7 to hit. And I miss. Woo. No, that'll hit. Seven, you need 7 to hit? This is gets dropped oh. because of the feet. That's right. That is really too bad. I was Tristan hoping that day. he would not be alive. And uh, he's not a living model, correct? Nope. Okay. He is not. Uh, but Anastasia will need a command check. Soul of the Choir. Okay. So choir, this is gonna suck. Choir's gonna lose it, I bet. Command eight on the choir. Oh, nice. And Anastasia is gonna be a command. Eight as well. And she's good. Okay. And uh, do I need magic weapons to? No, he's corporeal. He made a melee attack. Okay. Until next turn, then he will no longer be corporeal. <laughs> hmm. Well, wish I'd gotten in, uh, Ignite out. Because that Templar is going to ruin my day. Yeah. Like they do. You'll be dead. <laughs> it's like, mm, I don't know about that. It's like, oh. it's like, <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> we're going to activate Mullet Karn. Oh, no, sorry. I need to do the Archidon first. Uh, Archidon's going to charge. Uh, he's going to cast his Animus on himself. Oh, no, that's not going to work because you're just going to sanguine bond it on me. Uh, he's going to just charge there. Okay. Does a unit, um, you destroy, you've destroyed the Adrians completely, so I can't feed Can't them bring them back. back, that's correct. That was the whole point. Uh, Matt 6 on defense 11, looking for a crit. That's not a crit, but that'll hit. That'll hit. Uh, it is POW 17. Yep. <laughs> so dice plus one. I need one more die. I'll drop the one and keep the 16 on three dice. So we're probably going to just let him eat that. All right. Uh, <laughs> I think, soul, I, I, soul think I want to spread 16 out over four models. Soul range. Yeah, Check if you're in soul range. Uh, he is. Ooh. Judge. I think you're out. Okay. No soul. <laughs> now I wish I would have cast my Animus. Dead. Dang it. All right. Poop happens. All right. Let's see what you can do, Moloch. He's going to charge. He's going to charge this guy here. Okay. Uh, he charges 11. Because of mobility. Yep. So he'll go to there. 
Uh, he's Matt Seven. Uh, he hits. Uh, he's power and strength 15, weapon master on a charge. So dice minus one. Jeez. I will drop that one and he'll take 16 damage. Oh, well, we're not gonna. Oh, sorry, dice minus dice minus one. So he only takes 15 damage. Yeah, we're still not gonna spread that out. <laughs> okay. He will sidestep. Uh, that one may have generated a soul. He will generate a soul. Yeah. Yeah. We'll sidestep. Trevor, I'm almost out of focus tokens. I'm sorry. Not really. <laughs> uh, we'll swing on the unit leader in the back. Yep. Do you have melee on that? I believe so, yep. Yeah, you're good. Matt, seven. Uh, we'll keep those two and hit. Okay. Uh, it's power and strength, 15, so dice minus one. Yep. I will drop the two. He will take 15. Okay. Why are you such a that? big poopy head, Trevor? Uh, it's just, it's how I work. He's going to buy an attack on this guy on the left. Okay. He'll get another soul if you didn't get it already. Yeah, I grabbed it. Okay. Uh, we'll drop that one and hit. Uh, dice minus one. Uh, we'll drop the one and do 12. 12 on this guy? Yep. Let's see who's left. C and A. So that was B that died. So we'll. How many more attacks does he have? Three more. I feel like it's six in one hand, half dozen in the other, whether I sanguine bond this or not. What you'd be trying to do is keeping me from casting Fate Walker and walking away if you spread it out, but I don't. I don't think over three. Uh, you, can, you can technically do it. So if you, if you spread between the two of them, I buy one more attack. Right. I kill that one, and then to kill the last one, I have to buy one more attack rather than Fate Walk away. I see. I don't know that it's worth it to you, but it might be. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll take our chances with that. We'll uh, each will take six. Okay. So I'll buy an attack. See what happens there. Same guy. Uh, that'll hit. Keep those two. Uh, it is dice minus one. You are fired. We'll drop the two and do uh, thirteen. Okay, so we'll kill him. Okay. That'll give me another soul. Uh, we'll buy another attack on that guy there. Okay. Uh, and six plus Matt seven, and they're in the cloud. Still going to hit. Okay. Uh, dice minus oh, one. Have you been? Have you been taking uh, minus two to your hits? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's Matt seven, and their defense eleven. Okay. I, I haven't rolled anything less than a six. Okay. So. No problem. Uh, so he's going to take uh, dice minus one. He's going to take nine. Nine. Okay. And that kills him. Okay. Um, I believe it is your turn. Okay. Oh, that was another soul too. Yep, another soul. Giving you how many souls do you have now? A Two, lot. four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Sixteen focus. Yep. Yeah, plus a rack. I don't have that many uh, many focus tokens, Trevor. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with all this. I'm going to have to think about this for a second. Um, you're probably going to have to have, to have him kill a beast. Yeah, yeah. He's got, the reclaimer's going to have to take things into his own hands here. Uh, okay, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. I'm going to use two soul tokens to represent two focus tokens. Okay. Here. And, um, gosh, I think under different circumstances, I'd be giddy to have this much focus. <laughs> Jeez. All right, uh, he's going to, uh, Tristan will keep the, uh, drop the one for um, fortified up, keep fortify. Yep. Um, let's see, and Liven's going to drop for now. Tristan will put three on this guy because that seems like the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, reclaimer. One, one what? Yeah, one control point. Yeah. Uh, reclaimer will put three on this guy here. 
What's Moloch's arm? 18. If I hadn't been such a derp, I would have figured out a way to get him into the zone, but I couldn't really figure it so out. So High Reclaimer is a power strength 14. Saxon can give him Pathfinder, correct? Yes, okay. Saxon can give it to models. Okay. Or to Because uh, he's going to need that models. to get over the wall unless those guys move out of the way. Um, so let's see. High Reclaimer is a power strength 14. He's got one attack to... Uh, to boost and then buy and boost, 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 buy and boost. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So the question is, can he? Are you talking about boosting attack rolls or damage rolls? Damage rolls. What's his defense? His defense is thirteen, and high reclaimer is only mat five, I believe. Mat six. He's mat six. So you need a seven to hit. Yeah. Okay. So how many how many attacks are you saying you're going to get? If I don't boost uh, to a to hit. Yeah. Just just go off of that. Four, five, six, seven. Seven attacks. You're probably going to miss uh, three of those. So you're going to get four attacks at dice minus four. The charge will do. Uh, you're going to that you're boosting the charge here. Right. So that was probably going to hit. We'll say that one hits, and say you get three more. Um, this one's going to do six. Uh, six, nine more. You're only going to do 15 damage that way. Right. What you need to do is boost attack and damage on each of those. Right. Um, and then you're probably going to do more damage. Oh, yeah. those were set to boost damage, weren't they? Yeah. So it's actually more than that. It's um, You do six on the charge, and you yeah. do six on each one. So it's actually 24 total. You still come up short. Right. But I, I think you're better off boosting both attack and damage yeah, rolls. Yeah, I think so as well. Um, the other thing is... Uh, if yeah, you I, get more, don't you? You get more hits on average. You get five hits if you do yeah. it that way, assuming that you hit all of them. But it's a and pretty good assumption. Saxon, I mean, he's going to get an extra damage dice, too. I think reconnaissance is a I know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to reconnaissance. Oh. Uh, but if I Well, then move, how are you going to get him there? Move these guys out of the way first. Oh, and then have him charge over here? Yeah. Yeah, and that kind of hangs him out here, though. But, I mean... It gets you killed next turn is what it does. Yeah, yeah. So I, I kind of have to reconnaissance him if I'm... Not necessarily, but... Um, I mean, if he goes after him, he gets killed anyway, doesn't he? By the Archidon? Maybe. Because he's not going to have any focus left on him. It depends on what you do with those two, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I could charge um, Templar here, charge just Templar advance. here. Yeah, you just advance. You don't want to charge. It doesn't get you anything, really. Boost of damage. Free boost of damage. You don't need boost of damage to kill him. You need extra attacks. Okay. Oh, okay. So that and then charge the Templar here. Okay. Enliven this Templar. Uh huh. Um, and then uh, maybe start slinging some spells. Ashes to ashes. Ashes to ashes isn't going to do much unless you can actually get back here. Well, I mean, he's got. Uh, You'd have to do an immolate and boost damage. Yeah, immolate and boost damage, yeah. And that's only a power strength 12, which two points less than what he is anyway. Yeah, uh, uh, Oh, I can pull one more focus. At least he'll have one more, too, to sure. throw into here. Um, I mean, if you feel like you can move him over there, kill Moloch, and then somehow protect him, <laughs> then I say go for it. If I, if I move, if I advance him back to here... Does he have reach? Yes, he does. Then that's probably a better choice. Yeah, and then you got Templar and um, uh, High Reclaimer and Pounding on him, because then what I could do... He does have counter charge, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, i got to be careful of that. Not really. You can use these guys first and just engage him. Yeah. Because um, what I could do there is actually advance him to here, and then after I get the hit, he'll get one inch of movement. And I could probably engage this guy with reach. Mm -hmm. And between maybe one attack here, and then buying here, and then him finishing off here, I may even be able to kill them both. Kill them both. It's possible. Because he's pretty squishy, right? What's his arm? He's armor 17. 17, yeah. I would be I'd be da a dice plus two with mm -hmm. battle up. What's his defense? 14. 14? That's not my wife. I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> Are you on call? No, not oh, okay. No. 
No, my wife is expecting a baby any time now, so I may have to jet out. But I'll answer. <laughs> but that's that not one. baby. That's not baby number, so we're okay. Um, and then that would um, allow also Saxon to charge here. Okay. I, so I think I could safely get Moloch between here, here, and here. Okay. And possibly Archdon as well. Okay. Put this guy here. I mean, I'd rather put this one here because of Fortify. He's going to have a better chance to survive. Um, he probably won't survive, regardless of whether you use the Fortify one or the other one, unless you somehow kill both of these guys. Not likely. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm going to put Ignite on that one. Well, I'll put Ignite here, and and he's going to kill it. Yeah. So. So really, what is the purpose, though, of then even engaging these two mobs? You don't want to engage them. You want to kill one or the other. One or the other, so... If and you can kill one or the other, then, then it is worth it. Uh, if it's not, then you just want to engage with these guys. Right. Arm and boxes on him? Uh, he's armor 19, and he has uh, 30 boxes, if I remember right. And arm and boxes on him. He only has 28 boxes, if I remember right, and he's okay. armor 18. So he might be the better one to... He's much easier to kill, yeah. Yes. To kill. Okay. All right, well... What's the uh, what's the news from the web, Jay? What do they say? Five. <laughs> We're taking votes now on what you should do. <laughs> um, no, I'll just uh, I'll, I'm going to do my thing here. We'll get it done. Um, all right. So we've got my focus allocated here. Mm -hmm. One one option they considered was like you're in kind of a bad position. I am. Yeah. Um, and so he's not going to be able to pull the. Uh, this fear is not going to be able to come off on both of these. Off of them. And so you might want to kill the other targets. Like focus on the bronze back and the archer. Now. And present like a frenzy target you don't care about to the to those guys. That just buys me another turn, though. Believe it or not, an extra turn <laughs> can be uh, important. It can be a big deal. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, because, yeah, he, he, he's, he's not out of his control area. Yeah, he is. Oh, he is? It's only 10. I'm, I, I, I'm not going to measure it for you, but I'll eyeball it and give you a, a, uh, okay. a friendly guess and tell you that it's probably okay. out. Well, and, and either way, I mean, I can kind of see how Even if it's not out, I can only take two Fury. Okay. So... You're stacked up there. I, I place those two beasts in control area and him not. Um, Even if he is, again, these two beasts were the ones that were intended to be pulled off of, giving okay. you tactical thoughts into the mind of Trevor. Uh, and this was not ever intended to be removed. Okay. Okay. I mean, so. I, I can't. Unless you try to go in on me and kill me, and I transfer three, then I will take three off of him, and he won't frenzy probably, and I'll be able to do all kinds of fun stuff with him. Okay. So. Well, I mean, the Temple Flame Guard, I mean, their power strength, nothing. Ten, yeah. Ten. That's not going to do much on the bronze back. So they have combined melee. You can get Ignite on him. You can get Ignite on him, yeah. He has Ignite, doesn't he? No. He doesn't have Ignite? He, nope, nope. he doesn't have a buff? No, nope, he has no buffs. Okay, well, then that's not really viable. But you can yeah. do big combined melee attacks on him and try to get some damage. Yeah. Uh, especially if you charge, like, in pods of two, get well, pod 12 charge damage. Yeah, also especially if it's uh, if you've already got some damage on him from the Templar. Yeah, if the Templar puts some damage on him, then those but guys I, can put some more on. But I'd want to do the Flame Guard first so Templar can tack over their heads. Unless I put, put the Flame Guard way over... Right, S, uh, Templar way over here, you know, but that again will, will proc counter charge though, right? Not if you're engaging it. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, actually that might work then. Well, no, because it's this guy back here that I'm wanting to put here, this guy I'm wanting to put here. Uh, we're going to do this one. Yeah. So, um, so I think the best thing would be for me to actually then activate Reclaimer and, and um, okay. Uh, Saxon first, see what happens here okay. to kind of start gauging some stuff. Sure. Um, we got to start with the choir though first, so um, do, will they need to make another abomination check again? No, not unless they leave the three inches and come back. Okay. Okay. So, uh, where are you? Uh, where are you from? But entering into three inches, they oh, will. They've already. They're already in three right here. Right. So you, if you move in, it doesn't change anything. Okay. If you, if he leaves, and then you, and ends movement, and then he moves in and ends movement here, then yes, it's going to force another command. Okay. Check. Okay. So let's do this then. He's going to just stay here and put battle here. 
So move them all first. Yeah. And then uh, he'll move. Good. Move him to here. Yeah. He hasn't left, so he doesn't have to yeah, do that no, you're again. Fine. Um, let's see here. These guys will just kind of back off here. Okay. And then we'll put put out battle. Battle on both of them. Okay. Yep. I'm just gonna keep the token back yep, here that's fine. for that. We won't forget what you got. Yep. Um, so choir's gone. Now we'll go ahead and activate. Uh, <laughs> take a look at Iris's card real quick here. We won't answer that one either. That's not the wife. Um, okay, Iris is going to activate. She's going to come back an inch. Come over. Six inches. And attempt a sniper shot on Moloch. Okay. Range 12, she's yeah. good on that. Even 13, needs a 4. That'll hit. That'll hit. He takes a point Okay. on column 6. Okay. Saxon will go ahead and charge. Mm-hmm. What's uh, power strength on his weapon? He's a power strength... 9? 10? Um, his sword is a 10. Okay. But he does gain an additional yeah. dice. Yeah. He has dismember. Yeah. So he's going to charge to here. Yep. And uh, defense again was 13, you said? Yeah. Okay, Matt, 7. That's going to miss. Okay. Second weapon? Uh, this will be his skinning knife. Let me re-roll that one. A hit. A little hit. Power strength, 8. Dice minus 10. Uh, no damage. Jeez, this is working out great. Great plan. Um... Tristan will go ahead and go. Um, void Spirit's damage, uh, defense? 14. And 14. he has Poltergeist. Oh, I'm going to take a free strike when, unless he goes. It's not going to matter too much. You're going to be at armor a yeah, lot. That's true. <laughs> uh, what's Poltergeist? Uh, if you miss, you get pushed away D3 inches. Okay. Um, all right, let's see if he hits. He's a Matt, uh, Matt 5. Matt 5. That'll miss. I'll push you away. He'll go back one inch. He'll stop there. Okay. Um, that's his one attack. Okay. Uh, Debray, she'll go ahead and try hitting him. Okay. What's her mat? Uh, her mat is... Assuming it's six, but we'll see. Goodness gracious, come on. Mat six, yep. Okay. Needs an eight. That'll hit. Yep. And this is power strength eight. He's armor 12. Uh, so 8 plus 9 is 17. So 5 points. He dies. Yay. All right. Crap, I was really hoping for a little more there. Um, measure my control area real quick. Okay. All right, Reclaimer will go ahead and go. Yep. Um, he's going to advance to... It's just five inches there. Mm -hmm. Here's all his stuff. He's going to... Damn. He's going to move stuff around? I think he moved too far. He's not going to be able to pull one. Now you can pull one from the one behind him if you want, but it's a uh, 14. Yeah, 50-50 chance that it... He's not got enough armor. It's not going to hurt him. Yeah, we'll pull that one then. One, two, three. Yep, Blows explodes, up. Explodes, and it's a power strength 14 blast, so he takes a power 7. No, power 14 blast. Okay. That's power 14 blast damage. It's not going to hurt him, though. He's armor... 14. So he's arm... Um, 20, 30? 24. No. You got 14 focus? Yeah. His armor 29. 29. Yeah, yeah. no damage. Okay. How big is the blast? I'm assuming uh, it doesn't hit any of those. It's five. a five inch, yeah. yeah. It's probably not going to hit that guy. <laughs> two and a half. Mm, hit that one guy, but it's not going to hit the other two. Yeah, it'll hit him. Okay, yeah, well, he'll die. Ones. Field promote. Okay. Rat goes away. 
Yep. Thank you. All right. All right. Now, um, defense 13, you said? Yeah. Okay, and he's a uh, mat six. So seven. We'll boost the hit. Need a seven. That'll hit. hit. Uh, dice minus four. Okay, we'll boost damage. Roll that one again. So ten to six. Yep. Okay. Uh, buy another one. Yep. Boost hit and damage. One more die, but that hits. Yeah. Uh, it does catch him on fire, critical fire. Okay. So I don't think it'll matter, but we'll see. And dice minus four. Uh, six to two. Six to two. Uh, buy, boost, and boost. Yep. Now well, you boost after you hit if you do. One more die, but you're good. You hit there. <laughs> Apparently, you don't need to be doing this <laughs> boosting crap because you just keep hitting. I know. Dice minus four again. Uh, roll the 14, so 10 to 6. Yeah. Uh, you're one short. Okay, we'll buy. Uh, and boost to hit. Need a 7. Hit. That'll hit. He's on fire again. Jeez. And Dice then, minus uh, 4, you need a 5 to kill. We won't boost the damage. We won't boost damage, okay? You need a 5. Kills him. So he's still camping with four on him. That's why okay. I went that route. All right. Well, that frees this up a little bit. Now I can just dedicate one of them there. Wreck that one, hopefully. So I'm going to want to do the Temple Flame Guard first so that you don't counter charge over to them. So we'll activate the Temple Flame Guard. Okay. They're going to charge the... Uh, they're going to charge the bronze back. Well, each one individually. Yeah. So that one's charging the bronze back. Yep. Yeah, it seems a really bad And we'll probably take him all the way to the pillar, actually. They have reach. He's not going to be able to do that because his melee range, because his melee arc. So he's faced the direction he's moving. Okay. And when he gets to here, that's the end of his melee. The bronze back is oh. still in his melee arc, and at okay. that point he has to turn. I see what you're saying. Um, this one is going to charge the bronze back. Mm -hmm. This one will charge the bronze back. Mm -hmm. Actually, his arc's that way. Oh, sorry. No worries. So we will get to here. This one will charge the bronze back. Mm -hmm. The spoiler, does he have reach? Yes, he does. Okay. So these guys are probably going to have to charge the spoiler. Charge to here. Mm hmm. Charge to here. Mm hmm. Charge to here. Okay. Um, let's see, nine inches. Good, they got that. We'll charge to the spoiler to here. Okay. Actually, put him back over here. Okay. He'll charge the spoiler to here. And he'll just run. Okay, uh, defense on the bronze back. Um, combined melee attack. Okay. So uh, they're mat six. They are mat six. Okay, so they go to eight. They need a four to hit. Okay. Uh, That'll hit. hit. He's lit on fire. They have crit fire, or they do you not do have not the UA? Have, they do not have crit fire. Uh, the UA gives it to him. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, pow twelve. So dice minus seven. No damage. Okay. Second group of two. Yep. Needs a four to hit. That'll hit. Uh, uh, dice minus seven. Six damage to four. Six to four. Uh, on despoiler, we'll go ahead and do these three combined. Okay. Hits. That should hit. Pal 13, dice minus yep. five. Uh, three to four. Yep. And then it'll be another group of two. Yep. Hits. Hitting. Dice minus uh, six. Seven to four. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, certainly. She says she wants you guys to do like All right. a mom's email list. Uh -huh. so, like, if you could do wish lists. Now, um, he's gonna when he charges, he's gonna end up being out of Tristan's control. Doesn't matter until next turn if you try to allocate okay, to focus. him. Focus. Okay. So, Reclaimer, this guy, 
So he's definitely within charge range. He he would be very tight, I think, to get to here because speed four goes up to seven nine inches. So that's definitely longer than nine inches. Um, so I don't think it is, but I'm not going to try to convince you that because then if I, you fail, I'm going to feel bad about it. Let me measure Tristan's control area. So he's at uh, five here, five to here, and he would have two more inches. Uh, he might be able. He he might make it. So maybe I'll charge him here and then him there. Who do I focus on though? <laughs> um, well, before he takes off, let's activate the vassal. Okay. Put live on this guy. On the fortified one? Yeah, on the fortified okay. one. Um, and again, I don't want to charge, I want to advance so that I can buy attacks here, right? Probably, yes. Yeah. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and advance him up. Okay. Um, we'll just advance him right here. Bronzeback doesn't have reach, huh? Nope. But he does have beatback. He does? Okay. Uh, defense on him is uh, 12. 12. They're at 9. Mat, uh, mat 8. Mat 8. Need a 4. Need a 4. That Hits. Will hit. And uh, his. Uh, this is just straight dice, right? Because he's a. Uh, I have no idea. Power strength 19. Okay, straight dice. That is correct. Yep. Uh, 8 to 1. Okay. We'll buy an attack. Okay. Hitting. Uh, ten, 10 to 5. five. Uh, he's actually... I'm trying to think if I should start moving him this way. Uh, I don't think I will. Never mind. Um, buy another attack. Mm -hmm. Four, that'll hit. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a uh, 12 year and 8. So. Yeah. 9 to 4. He's dead. Okay. He's got one focus left on him. Um, I'll go ahead and take an inch of movement for him. From yeah. The, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Maybe I should have been doing that. <laughs> don't don't move that way. You're gonna get in the way of your other guy. Yeah. You need to be moving this way. That's right. Yeah. Oh, okay. right. Fortify and alive. And okay. Uh, this guy's gonna activate and he's gonna charge. Mm-hmm. He's gonna move. Why don't you leave him there and we'll check to see if you're gonna make it. Yes. We'll stop yeah, use yours. Yeah. Stop him right now. Melee range. Okay. And so seven inches. He's gonna be just out. Oh, I don't know. it's close. Nope, he's just out. Right? Yeah. Yep, he's just out. Damn. Alright, hanging out in the dust. That's right, it gives you a target to deal with, so um, well you have to I'm not sure I can even deal with him. We'll see. Damn. Um I think that's my turn. Okay. That is my turn. Alright. We will pull Fury off here. Uh, we will check Frenzy on the spoiler. He is a threshold of ten. Uh, he frenzies. Uh, he has uh, four frenzy targets here, 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 and here. Uh, so we'll, we'll round we'll only one through four, and five and six will get rerolled. So four is this guy here. Okay. Uh, he's mat six. Uh, hits. Hit. It does a crit, so it's past sixteen. It's gonna that's gonna kill. Him. Obliterate him, yeah. and it'll create a void spirit. Okay. We'll get Tristan eventually. <laughs> uh, we'll let that fury drop since I need him to uh, not have it. Hmm. 
Would have liked to have kept beat back. I'll score a second control point at the end of your turn. Yep. Okay. Well, let's see here. Well, night. We're there. And then potentially die. Seems bad. All right. Um, we're going to see if the important one happens. There, we're going to charge Tristan. Okay. Range nine on his charge. He'll go to there. Keeps a seven to hit. Yep. That'll miss. Jeez. Uh, then we'll need some command checks back there. Okay. Command check here, command check here, command check there. Okay, I believe they're all eights actually. Uh, Vassal is a six, so we'll start with the Vassal. He's probably going to be. He will yep, flee. He's fleeing. Uh, choir's an eight. They're good. Not flee. The uh, Bray is an Not eight. Flee. She's good, and I think that's it. Uh, ch oh, she's fearless. Never mind. Um, well, that's disappointing. I really wanted her. They need Templar gone. They need fleeing tokens. They have them. They're in a separate pack. Should have done the Shaman first. Okay. Um, we're going to activate Xerxes. He's going to cast Mobility. He's going to cast Ignite. Uh, he's going to put the Ignite on the Gladiator. Okay. And then he will do... He's going to do a ride by attack. Okay. Uh, he's going to move. Is a ride by attack three? like a charge? Nope. Okay. It is not. Is it a power Six. slam, power attack, or impact nope, attack? Nope, it is okay. none of those. Okay, so set defense doesn't apply. Eight. Check his melee. We'll go eight and a half to there. So he's got a half inch left after his ride by attack, which okay. is kind of silly, but whatever. <laughs> Um, he'll cast Sprint on himself from the Archidon. He will take his uh, mount attack here. Okay. Uh, he's mad eight. Okay. I'll be getting souls again, it looks are like. Are they 13s? Uh, they are 13s. Okay, need a five. Hits. It's power 14 on that guy. He's going to die. Yep. I'll take my first um, uh, s spear, the uh, war standard on that guy. Next guy down. Hits. It's going to do a power 12 to him. Okay. Should have left the Void Spirit there until I finished all this. Yeah. Screwed up. Uh, take my normal uh, Lamenter attack on this guy here. Okay. Uh, hits and it'll kill him. Okay. Um, um, when I did my math poorly, we're going to buy an attack on the last guy. Hitting him and killing him as well. Okay. Then we'll take the rest of my ride by attack to move back one half inch. And then we will sprint back nine to there. Check my control area. Good. Okay. 
Uh, we're going to activate the Shaman, who's going to advance. Okay. And he's going to cast Rush onto the uh, Gladiator. Okay. I thought I said uh, we're going to activate these guys and they're going to advance. <laughs> there. Uh, we will enrage Gladiator. I uh, will remove Fury from the uh, Shaman. And we will heal the Despoiler for three. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to activate over here. They're going to advance. Uh, and enrage there. Okay. Um, we're going to activate the gladiator who's going to charge there. Okay. Uh, he got 11 inches of charge because of mobility and rush. Yep. So he can get there. Going. Turn him around. There's ignite on him. And he's enraged. So your defense is 10? Defense 10, arm 20. Oh, he has enliven. Shit. Yeah. I forgot about that. Ooh, I thought the other one had enliven. Damn. All right, well, I didn't want that gladiator anyway. Can I uh, borrow that one for a second? Yeah, you can. Guess I better make this one count, huh? Yep. Uh, Matt six. Okay. Need a four to hit. Uh, we'll boost the attack roll since you're going to walk away from me anyway because I completely forgot you had an Uh That'll hit. All day. Your crit on fire. Ignite. Yay. I'll give you a fire token right here. Okay. I got one. Uh, this is power and strength 20. Okay. Dice, dice minus three. Dice minus three, yep. This is not as cool when you walk away. <laughs> How about 10 to five? Okay. I can't believe I made that mistake. He took out his flail. I could have killed him. Should have super slammed him and then finished him up. Live and we'll proc. Uh, let's see here. We'll probably move back. Mistakes have been made. I'll bring him base to base here. Okay. Okay. Uh, he'll be powder fisted pretty next next turn, so he took the flail out. So. Ooh. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's yeah, that gives me some chance here. Maybe. <sighs> so when they're in base to base, fortify can't be knocked down, and anything uh, else? Don't think it can be moved either. Um, cannot be knocked down, pushed, or moved by a slam. By a slam? Yep. That's what it says specifically. So yeah. you can be moved by a throw? Any friendly model base to base, yeah. Cannot be knocked down, pushed, or moved by a slam. So I can throw you. We'll see what happens. All right. Okay. Uh, we're going to activate the Archidon. He's going to charge here. Okay. Um, he's going to charge to there. Okay. I won't get three. Um, he is mat six. He needs a four to hit you. Okay. Initial attack hits and crits. We will throw you. We're going to throw you this direction. Okay. Uh, you'll deviate in direction black, distance blue. Direction back is back. It's not going to matter. You're going to go and you're still going to hit him. Won't be knocked down, but you'll take an additional die of damage. Okay. So pal 17 versus armor 21. So dice minus four. Yup. Take 10 to 6. Okay. Okay. He'll buy an attack. Hope for some more of those crits. Hmm. Hits, but doesn't crit. It's dice minus 4. Anyway, first thoughts. Uh, shoot. Yeah, we're just going to roll it. we got to get lucky here. That's pretty lucky. <laughs> Eight to one. Eight to one. Does that take out a shield? That does take out a shield. Yes! I'm 19 the luck now. gods are with me tonight. Uh, I'll buy an attack. Okay. Need a four. Hits. Uh, so it's only dice minus two now. Yep. Uh, six to one. Just keep hitting that one column. 
Movement's gone now. Movement's gone. I'll buy an attack. A hit and crit. We'll throw you same direction. Okay. Uh, black is distance, blue is direction. Uh, direction, it's... Uh, what did I say? Black is distance, blue is direction. Okay, so he's going to go that way. Okay. He's going to get easy to hit there and not go anywhere. Okay. Uh, and he takes an additional die. Dice minus two. Yep. Take six to six. Two boxes. He'll left. buy one more. Hits. And dice minus two. Got to roll four. I rolled a four. Just enough. He is a wreck marker. Okay, well, it's your turn. That is everything I have. Right. I'll score a third control point. Yep. So he's going to be sitting on nine focus. On a brighter note, I put you back in control area so you can give him focus on Tristan. Yeah. All right. uh, fire. Yeah. Six. Okay. Uh, so dice minus a lot. Nine, I think. Yep. No damage. Okay. All right. Um, we'll keep for, uh, upkeep fortify. Mm -hmm. Now I'm running out of ways to take you out, and you're pretty far back there. How many boxes does he have left? He has eight left. He's gone. He's gone. That's enough to fortify. And he's arm 19. Who is? Xerxes? Xerxes? Yeah, he's armor 19. You're going to spell me to death? Well, I'm thinking um, move him out of the way. Charge Reclaimer here. You'll be out of range on my spells. Okay. But uh, pop his feet, bring back my flame guard, have him charge. Okay. Mm I mean, it's they're going to be... Dice. Many, so you can bring up back the maximum of six? Maximum of six. So if you do three and three. Yep, that's pal thir two pal thirteen. Two pal thirteens, a dice minus six, you do four apiece. I mean, that kills him. Yeah, I mean, if it's, you roll six. Yeah. If not, let's say you get five, now you need a little bit above average. Eight. Um, See, he could charge eight inches, which would put him man, right there. Yeah, right there. And see, that's still still farther than what's the range on uh, immolation is eight. Yeah, that's the issue. If you had yeah. it range ten, yeah, um, you got enough focus. You could probably cast an ashes to ashes here, and then try to boost damage on me to put on a point or two. Yeah, kind of soften that, soften you up a little bit before. I mean, you're, if you're going for it, you need every point you can get, especially well, yeah, and, with the math we're talking about here. Yeah, and and I don't think I can survive another round. I mean, you're going to win. On, on if you don't put something in the zone, I just have to clear the zone and Xerxes has to move in and the game's over. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I can bring... I don't even... I, yeah. It's, it's whether or not I can kill him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you'd have to put the Templar in the zone and then hope I can't kill the Templar with with Ignite. Right. Uh, I mean, if you kill him... I mean, the problem is, is that... I'm going to send another... Unless you can figure out a way to get him dead, I'm going to send another Void Spirit into Tristan, or you're going to outrun Tristan away. Right. Which is possible, I guess. You could just give four, and uh, you got to get him dead, and then run Tristan away so that I can't do that again. Right. Uh, but if you don't, and I kill him, and he just goes inert, then I don't even have to worry about him. Right, yeah, yeah. Gosh, I don't know. Um... What's the shaman's defense? Thirteen. So I would need a five. No, I would need a eight. An eight. Nate is not here. No. His number should be on that thing there. You can give him a call. Boosting to hit on eights is reasonable. On on it, trying to immolate him to death. Uh, no, uh, ashes to ashes, like you were saying. Oh, bounce it off of him. Yeah. 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 So, I mean. It's not great, but well, it's what you it might is. have to uh, 
Because ashes to ashes is four, and then boost, and then boost damage on him. So I'm only going to get one ashes to ashes off. Um, I mean, the other option is you try to immolate him a couple of times, uh, get him out of the way, because you're going to have a little bit of issues with placement on those guys, because your officer or your uh, unit leader's here. Yeah. What's his command range? Ten. Ten. So I guess you can put him up here. The problem is, is I got three models with reach in front of Xerxes. Yeah. Uh, this one doesn't matter as much as these two, but to get to get enough guys in, you've got to get him out of the way almost, or. Or you've got to drop them. Well, and, and it has to be within his command. So if this is where he would well, you can. Uh, it's in his control. Yeah, control him in. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can drop him in here. It's just your ashes to ashes actually works pretty well because if you drop him right here, uh, and then and this guy dies to the ashes, they can as long as you don't get them engaged here, but drop them right there and then have them charge back to here. Um, and you might have to have the unit leader run so they stand in there. So that they. So they're in acting. command when you're done with the charge. Right, right. Which would possibly, I mean, he'd have to swing out pretty far to avoid. Well, he's running. He's yeah. speed six. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he can get out. He can there. go 12. He goes uh, four to there, six to there, 12. He's going to get to there. They can be in command to here. Right. So, but is is uh, I'd have to roll a six. I'd have to roll a, th uh, a five or six to get enough guys there to, to even do the damage. No, it's a D three plus three, so you're gonna get three. Right. Uh, if you roll, you, you got a sixty six percent chance to get five or six guys because oh. you got to roll a three or four. four. It's three plus. If you roll, I mean, you could still get it on on if you roll the one or two, but you'd you'd have to roll crazy good on the damage to get right. Xerxes dead. Right. You, you definitely want to roll a five or a six on your feet. Yeah. Well, let's try that. Okay. We'll have some fun. Let's get the let's get this guy out of the way. We're going to allocate three there. Sure. So that uh, he'll be gone. Uh, we'll start with Debray. She'll uh, she'll try and trying to kill him. the Void Spirit again. Yep. Miracle Mile. Miracle Mile, and she was a Mat six. Yep. Needs an eight. Yep. That'll hit. That'll hit. Look at that. Dice minus four. Uh, yeah, I think it's um, Pow eight. Yeah, Pow. He's eight. armor twelve. Yeah. There you go again. Jeez. <laughs> Miracle Mot. She is the most amazing <laughs> Anastasia that has never espionaged in her life Jeez, ever. Okay. Um, and then uh, let's see here. We'll activate Tristan. You're gonna have to paint Void Spirit Killer on the back. <laughs> No doubt. Give her a tattoo that yeah. says Void Spirit Killer on it. <laughs> uh, actually, we'll activate Choir first. He's gonna come to here. Okay. Stay out of his way. Yeah. Well, actually, no. We want to move him to like here because yeah. he's yeah. going to go that way. Okay. We're good there. Uh, move him out of Tristan's way. Yeah, he'll come to here. Come to here. Tristan, I can move back. Maybe to here. No, I want to put Tristan right there. No, I think you do want to move him to here. Tristan? Okay. Don't you think? Yeah, because... Yeah, you're right. Okay. You're right. Let's clear this 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 lane out here. They'll battle. Yeah. Um, he's the one that's lost his... Crap. A little bit of steam coming through there. Yeah. Uh, he's the one that lost his... Flail. His yeah. flail, yeah. Uh, so we'll activate... Uh, we'll activate him. Okay. Uh, he's got a... Speed four, so we'll go yeah. two and two. About like that. Okay. You don't have more in more movement. He might, well, he's got reach. Right. Well, no. No, so the shield is what I was talking about because that's the one that's not disabled. R if you got more movement, I'd move until you got your shield in melee with him. Okay. Well, he's got four inches. So let's try this again. Yeah. You. I think you've got enough movement. So we'll go. I mean, if you go. Well. Go two to there. Two to there. Yeah, I mean, then go two over. Yeah, you're going to be fine. Okay, so we'll go there. So, what's his arm? His armor? Yeah. 17. He's defense 14, armor 17. So, with the shield, I'd be power strength 14. With dice minus three? So, that'd be dice minus three. And the flail, I'm just rolling, your pen again, rolling one die, right? Yeah. But it's still power strength 17. The problem is you got to roll a six to hit. I see. Okay, so we're better so, off. So, you, so you either have to boost the, the hit on that one and then roll uh, straight or dice plus two damage. 
which is good, yeah. or you've got to try to hit with, you, or you got to roll just sixes with two dice at dice minus three, you said. Mm -hmm. uh, so dice minus three on the other ones. I mean, you're doing more damage with the flail, uh, but you can buy more with the shield. Right. How many boxes does he have? Um, 25, I think. Okay. All right. So we'll, uh, we'll start with the flail. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. He has 24. Okay. We'll start with his two initials. Okay. So uh, flail first. Flail. Misses. Uh, shield. Yep, need a six. Hits. Uh, dice minus three. Dice minus three. Roll that. Uh, so four to four. Five. No, it's five to four. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Buy one with the shield. Yep. Hitting. Hits. Dice minus three. And no damage. By the shield. Yep. Hit it. Uh, five, five to two. two. And the last one. Hitting. Nope, Barely, that right? misses. Four. Yep. Nope, that misses. He's a, needs a six. He's a 14. You're an eight. We'll charge. Uh, yep. Saxon. He's a seven. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Needs a seven. Yep. Needs a seven. Hits. There we go. Uh, dice minus seven on four dice. Yep. Oh, that's bad. Two to four. Not meant to be, Trevor. One, two. Um, oh, no. Still might die. Vassal. Oh, no, we won't do Vassal yet. Yeah, save the Vassal for later. Yeah. Uh, we'll activate Tristan. Yep. Tristan. Back here. It's only speed five. Um, yes. Okay. Most Menite uh, uh, casters are. Uh, we'll bring uh, Iris up. Mm -hmm. uh, shooting into melee. And cover. No, you don't want to do that. It's going to be cover from here. Melee is going to be defense. Uh, 22. Yeah. Um, we'll shoot the gladiator. Okay. So he's only 16 in melee. So you yeah. need a 7. Snipe. Yeah. That hits. Yep. Take a point to two. I think you can choose that actually, but I. Yeah. We'll just stick with the two. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. High reclaimer. Let's try and do this. Yeah. Uh, he's going to charge the gladiator. Yep. Moving eight inches. Out there. Okay. His defense? 12. 12. I'm a mat 6. I need a 6, six to hit. Misses. Jeez. Check and see if I'm in your 8-inch uh, range. I'm assuming you're probably not, but you might be able to get some emulates off on me. Nope. Okay. But I'm in, But he's in range for yeah. whatever you want to yeah, do. Yeah, we'll, so. we'll, we'll ashes to ashes this. Okay. He's a defense 13. So there goes 4 there. We're going to take one to boost uh -huh. the hit. I uh, need an 8. Yep. That hits. That'll hit. Okay. And additional targets. Yep. An additional four, four. targets. It's going to be one, two, three, and it's within five. Yeah. That's the only guy that's going to hit. It's going to hit all four of them. So okay. total. So uh, let's see here. At least two die. Okay. Let me just measure my control area real quick. Oh, do you get enemy souls? No. Oh. no I'm just measuring. Oh, control. you're measuring where you're going to place. I was like, where I'm going to place my uh, temple flame guard. Well, they're going to have to be within ten, so it's got to be a little farther back. Yeah. Y you're still going to be able to put them, but they're going to have to be in here probably right. to stay in command. Right. So they can't be here. Yeah, because they'll have, have be nine inches of charge. Yeah, yeah. Eleven inches that's of threat. So. That is not the issue. In fact, yeah. you need to probably have him when he charges. Be closer. Be closer, so yeah. you give him room for that guy to run around. around. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So uh, his arm. Sixteen. So dice minus six on him. Okay. Okay, we'll go ahead and boost the damage. Yep. <laughs> Holy crap! Wow. 11 to 3. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He is mostly dead. Wow. Now, he doesn't he's not necessarily going to need to be out of the way here, is he? Not necessarily, no. It depends on where you get him at, but they should be able to charge to here and miss his reach. He has reach, but I mean, that goes out to, yeah. to there. 
and emulate is uh, two, so I could... Um, you're also going to be able to send some in to here, and the back of their base is still going to be in melee, and you're going to engage Xerxes. Okay. But you won't be able to do multiple through here. You'll have maybe two that will be engaging and be there. So maybe I might just camp these last three. Well, that's not even going to do anything. That's not going to do much. Yeah. You're in so base we'll, you are in, in yeah, ignited... Yeah. Uh, soon to be enraged gladiators yeah, yeah. melee range. You're um, not going to survive. I had three focus. I'm immolating, boosting to hit on, on, the, on the shaman. Okay, need an eight. Oh, I didn't. Uh, yeah, you need to do him, there. Which I may want to boost the damage there because it's okay. Pouch I, I yeah. agree. I think you do. Boost the damage there. Place minus nine. Oh! Uh, he's got two left. <laughs> That's what I needed right there. Jeez. Uh, we'll cast the two for immolate yep. on the shaman. Yep. Uh, missing. Yeah. And that does nothing. And then he's going to pop his feet. D3 plus 3. So, mm -hmm. uh, but that's okay because yep. you put a lot of damage on him. So you got four guys. Four guys. That's, well, I only had five left. So actually, that's not too bad. Uh, you wouldn't have been able to bring back that one anyway because uh, he was removed from play. Oh. So I'll put this guy up here. And then put here, here, and here. I forgot about that, yeah. I didn't realize you only had that few. And they're command eight. Yeah, that's so the issue is you're going to have to move all of them back. So that guy's going to have to be there. Mm -hmm. And then back to here. This guy's going to have to be probably in there. Uh, yeah. could be. Well, yeah, because he can't be engaged. Yeah, you don't want to be engaged here either. Right. So go to there. Are they all in command now? That's the problem is that you're not going to get... Go to there, right there, because then he doesn't engage. Yeah, I think so. I think they're all in command. Okay. All right, cool. All right, we'll activate the Temple Flame Guard. They'll receive a charge attack order. Um, he's going to charge up to here. No. No, have him charge to here. Yeah, this guy's oh, got reach. You're not okay. going to get past that okay. direction. So he'll charge to here. They're not the one with the yep. Okay. Yeah. Have him charge closer okay. to the shaman. I'm going I'm to adjust the shaman a little bit. We won't okay. worry. But his melee arc is this way. But yeah, okay. charge to there. Okay. And then have the next guy charge to basically the same location but next to him. And then this guy will need to go a little further, but he's fine. Yeah, he's not going to get any. No, no, no. Go hit farther than that. The issue yeah. you got is... Because he needs to be able to get in. Right. So this guy's the issue here there. And you're going to be able to go past him. So he's going to charge way downtown here. Right. And he's going to charge. Yeah, right there. Here. There you go. Okay. And now he's got to run. He's got to run. Probably don't even need to take him that so far. We'll go six to here. Mm -hmm. Seven, eight. Ten, eleven, twelve. Are we still in command? Mm hmm. Okay, and I'm gonna just turn him like so. Uh, let's see what we'll do here. Uh, we'll combine melee attack and combine melee attack. Takes you to power 12. Yeah, that's probably what you want to do. Yeah. Need a five on each of them. Need a five here. To hit? Yeah, five to hit. Oh, That'll miss. Need this one to hit. That hits. Go. Dice minus seven. Need to roll a nine on three dice. There That's a nine. He's dead. Thanks Game, for sir. help, man. No problem. That was helpful. I um, that hurt losing those bastions. Um, it would have been pretty tough for you to completely stop it. Um, I just I feel like I can outflank High Reclaimer really far, especially on feet turn. Yeah, yeah. And how? What was uh, Molik's? If, if I would have gotten these guys behind the clouds where you couldn't have drawn line of sight. I would have put Ignite on Moloch and had him walk eight. Okay. And then uh, I, I don't know where they would have been standing. Because he would have been about here. They would have been about here. Right. So that's and so he, pretty close. He walks eight inches and has reach. Yeah. And then he hits the first one and then he sidesteps into the rest of them and gets all the same attacks. Right. And all he has to do is get into the cloud. To see it. Yeah. It doesn't matter because yeah. he's just going to advance. He doesn't, right. have to, doesn't have to target them for anything on that. Right, right. He's got to get there once he gets into the cloud. As long as he's engage in one of them he'll hit the difference would be that i would have started with um, some less damage so one of the things i did was he shot one 
Well, he could have shot anyway because he, he has ghost shot. He can see through the clouds. But okay. I didn't have the Archidon. Uh, the Archidon probably would have, to get the same damage output that I got there, Archidon would have had to trample through. Okay. Uh, except for he can't trample. So that wouldn't have worked. But. Um, yeah, the Archidon probably wouldn't have been able to get involved. So I'm not sure I would have done the same thing had they all been behind the cloud. But if I did, I feel like I could probably kill all five of them again. Uh, get Ignite out on him. He's dice, same dice minus one. I can take six attacks on, on them. Same thing could happen at the end where you could potentially have transferred one damage and got me to only be able to kill four out of the five. And then you bring the other four back. And they take out Moloch, yeah. 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 Um, when you brought Xerxes up, were you baiting them on on the the Idrians? I mean, were you was well, that the first round? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. I knew I I I didn't feel they can't kill him with three transfers. Okay. Uh, if I feel like if you come in and start shooting at me, that I mean, what you needed to do is leave a couple of back, so I can't kill the yeah. whole unit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have just a quick question. In you. Sure. He just combo striked me with uh, the nightmare. Okay. Doesn't that take his actions like he cannot buy any more attacks? He can buy more attacks. He, he just he loses his initial attacks. Um, so with the Idrians then, that's probably what I did wrong with them is putting them, committing too many too soon. Yes. Okay. Um, and I should have had a transfer. I got a little greedy and moved up one to kill all four of those guys and didn't do my math correctly and realized by the time I got to the fourth guy that I was going to have to buy it. Right. Um, and I should have just engaged these three on the end, killed those three and moved back. Okay. And I actually would have been able to move back farther because I didn't have to move as far forward. I would have only moved it forward about seven and a half instead of eight and a half. Right. So I, would, I could have moved back another inch. Okay. Um, yeah, that was... Uh, I got I got big eyes and thought, oh well, I can I can kill all those guys and 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 didn't didn't think about feeding back these guys until you got into your turn. So I mean, well, and I shouldn't complain too much because in this game, I mean, they they took them down over half with them all that alone. shooting, yeah. yeah. And so I mean, and that's what allowed me to win here with that. So uh, um, yeah, I mean, you just if you leave one guy a little farther back. Uh, you know, where I, I got greedy is kept going after Tristan on that second one. Mm. I could have, that, yeah, that Void Spirit could have moved, could have attacked here and killed yeah. all four of those guys and yeah. removed that one from play and kept you from getting any of those souls. And if that Void Spirit's here, then you don't get any of these souls. And then yeah. the, some of the things you did there wouldn't have ever worked. Right, because he wouldn't have had that extra focus for right. to be able to do that. Yeah. 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 Sorry. So. All right. Yeah. Do you like the list? Your list? Yeah. Um, yeah, I do. The other, the other incarnation I have of this, I actually drop both Templars, and I do a little bit more of a troop swarm with it. And this, this is plenty of troop swarm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, it'd be nice if you could get a reclaimer in the list to help with focus allocation, I guess. But I guess he does that anyway, so maybe not. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I fortified a fortified. Uh, Templar, I mean, it's nice, but still, you trashed it, trashed it in one round. You know, I, I would hope for a little more. Well, I didn't trash it in one round. It's still here. Oh, yeah, that's right. The other one I got. The other one you got. The, the thing is, is um, I got lucky on my crits. Yeah. Um, you're also dealing with Scorn, where I can get quite a bit of damage output, and I've got, and this particular list has a damage buff, so. Well, and if I, I'm, I'm running a max choir. If I drop them down to a min choir uh -huh. and drop my racks, I can bring a second vessel, vassal, and I got two enlivens out there now. Um, and they can both be enlivened. I'm not sure it's lo worth losing the racks. Yeah, I think you can lead. You only need to lead with one of them. You just have that one enliven. Uh, you can have the other one behind some clouds. I mean, you didn't have a whole lot of opportunity to use the clouds because uh, this this kind of got in the way and it made me really bunch right. And I think you're you're dealing with a little bit of. Uh, uh, tripping over yourself because you haven't played the list enough. Once you get yeah. it all figured out on how you're going to move stuff in, uh, then yeah. you know, I mean, I almost good. I almost think it would be ideal even to run uh, a Templar on each flank a little further out and have my troops layered more, where I've got Idrians, Flame Guard. Uh, bastions. Yeah, the and bastions can stay a lot farther back in this yeah, particular match. Yeah. And with this list, you don't need to have them right on the front. Right. Yeah, they could be more of a. I mean, because imagine if if I still had bastions back here and we're in this scenario. Sure. The bastions can take out one of those beasts on their own. You know, a whole unit of them getting charges off. Oh yeah. 
So, Absolutely. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. No problem at all. So uh, layering my my army there, I think I need to do that. Thank you for the game, though, Trevor. That yeah, was, no problem. That was a great learning game.